Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 21. Today we're going to be looking at the inverse of a matrix. The inverse of a matrix, m, is the matrix m to the negative 1. That we multiply m and m to the negative 1 together, we get re result in the identity matrix. And it works either direction, m times m to the negative 1, or uh, m to the negative 1, m is equal i. So I'm going to refer this as the, uh, the inverse matrix. So m inverse matrix or inverse matrix M is equal to I. A few notes about inverses. Uh, not all matrices have an inverse matrix. If there's a row or column that's all zeros, it'll always end up a matrix full of zeros when multiplied. Um, if it has an inverse, it's called invertible or non-singular. And if it has no inverse, it's called non-invertible or singular. Um, determinants of a singular matrix, so those without an inverse, is zero. Determinant of a non-singular matrix is non-zero. Any invertible matrix M, the vector quality equality V times M is equal to zero, is only true if the vector uh, is zeros. Uh, to compute, first we need to figure out what the adjoint of M is. And the adjoint of M is the transpose of the matrix of its cofactors. So, as you recall from previous episode, there's a matrix up here. We're going to determine the cofactors which is what we looked at previously with the plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and eliminating the excess rows as we would do in a projection. And so we'll remove 1, 1 to get this remaining vector in the middle here, and then it compute its determinant uh, and so forth. So each of these values, 6, 0, 12, 1, 6, negative 16, negative 5, 6, 8. Uh, very simple equations. If you need to remember how to do that, go check out the previous episode that has the cofactors in it. Um, so then we are left with this matrix here. And if we take the transpose of that, so we just flip it over here, uh, we have the transpose, and now we can determine the inverse matrix by taking the ad uh, adjoint of M and dividing it by the determinant of M. So here is the transpose, which is the adjoint of M, divided by the determinant, and this is results in the final uh, inverse of M. A few uh, last properties that you should know about inverse. The inverse of the inverse is the original matrix. The inverse of the identity matrix is the identity matrix. The transpose, the inverse of the transpose, is equal to the transpose of the inverse. And finally, uh, two matrices AB uh, multiplied together taking their inverse is the same thing as the reverse product of each of their inverses. So B inverse times A inverse. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and like. Share this on social media if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for our newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.